We are checking out the complete play edition, similar to coin ops and some other builds out there, but this one is based off of Launchbox using Rocket Launcher pre-set up for you. It's a kind of hybrid arcade consoles. You do have some pretty obscure things you don't see all the time, like Jaguar, like uh, American Laser Disc System, uh, Sega Model 2 and 3, um, the Sega Triforce, um, and a few others. And then you have your typical stuff like Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, so pretty much all the Sega and Nintendo consoles as you see here. And we're in big box right now, big box is beautiful. You will just have the standard launch box, you will need to buy a license if you wanna get the premium to do big box, but it's well worth it and fairly inexpensive. And it's something you should get anyways. Once you get one license, you can kind of use it for all future builds. So that's a nice thing about it. But what we're gonna be doing in this video is checking out this build. Um, it's about 300 gigabytes. It gives you a ton of games. There's everything from light gun games to shooters to fighters, you know, racing a good, good general eclectic collection. On the consoles, you're gonna see pretty much the entire console collection there. And then when you get into kind of the arcade games, um, some different stuff. And oh, and it has Pinball FX3 too. So like I said, it has some obscure things, some things you usually don't see. And it's running on Launchbox, which, you know, is A, great right out of the box, or B, offers some of the most diverse customization and features out there on any front end. So let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, show you any kind of issues I ran into and how I set it up and play some games as well. All right, so here we are in our complete base edition. I went ahead and updated it and here's your installation guide. Uh, if you wanna you know, participate in Patreon, there's his Patreon saying he has no affiliation with Launchbox. He just happened to use Launchbox. Says uh, Rocket Launcher is running on most of the arcade systems over here. Um, there is a Discord for additional questions. And then um, troubleshooting. Uh, the only one I've ran into myself was, yes, make sure you give certain game folders admin rights. And then also make sure you turn off your antivirus, especially if you're trying to do Pinball FX2. That's one of them that will for sure disable it. Um, controls within Launchbox, and then uh, you will need to buy a Launchbox uh, key if you want to use Big Box. And here are some additional controllers issues. Um, when you download this file, you'll get this README in there. So I don't want to use a lot of the time in the video. You can pause the screen and check this out for yourself. So you just click Launchbox, and here it is. Here I have my license file, so I have a licensed version now because I do own a version of Launchbox. But when you launch it, it'll, you'll launch Launchbox like this, and it will go ahead. I also did update mine as well. When you launch Launchbox, this comes with an 11.1. .1. There's now 11.2, and who knows, by the time you watch this video, it might be 11.3. So feel free to do this. You can see it's licensed to me up here. Yours is gonna say just uh, free version. So you're gonna be able to use this right here. You can make the box art smaller or larger. You can you know, arrange by all sorts of different consoles. You can view many different things. For those of you that are new to Launchbox, it is amazing, a really great front end. Now, all games, remember, I think he said 7,000, yeah, so 7,437 games total. In American Laser Games, you have 10 games total. A lot of light gun games here, if you're interested. Atari 2600, you got 634. Atari 5200, you got 70 games. I'm gonna go fast so I won't even let let it load up. 7800, you got 59 games. Jaguar, you have 54 games. Atari Lynx, you got 71. CPS, you got 16. CPS 1, CPS 2, you got 33. And then you have six. Really good fighters there. Cave, arcade games. A lot of really good ones over here, 25 games. Coleco, 140. Daphne, you got 17. Some really good Daphne games, and they're all set up with bezels, bezels and everything. Looks like there's a duplicate there, but not too bad. X-Board, you got four nice titles here. These games are really fun, and you don't see them all the time either. Mattel in television, you have 140. TurboGrafx-16, you got 92. You got pretty much all the Nintendo 64 games at 298. Pretty much all of them, there's a few missing. NES 773, Game Boy 560, Game Boy Advance 1100, the whole collection. So on the portables, you got all of them. Game Boy Color 535, 
Virtual Boy, you got 14. Pinball FX, you got most of the boards here at 75 different boards to play with. A Thomas Wave, you have 23. Sega 32X, 31. Sega CD, 147. So pretty much most of your Sega and your Nintendo games, 256 on the Game Gear. Genesis 778, Master System 273. So this is where it gets really cool, where a lot of other builds don't have, which is the Sega Model 2, the Sega Model 3, the Triforce, and they have the American Laserdisc and the X-Board and uh, Cave, as far as the arcade set, um, kind of all separated out there. So Sega Model 2 is 32, Sega Model 3 is 26, and then the Triforce, you have four games here. Neo Geo, you got 128. Super NES, you got 791. Wonder Swan, you got 110, and Wonder Swan Color 90. So as you see here, it's it's a nice diverse set of consoles. It doesn't get into Dreamcast at all, though. I mean, you have a Thomas Wave, but no Dreamcast, and um, it uh, it's pretty much stops there with with the arcades. So you may have to change your drive letter. He mentions in the tutorial to do it as the R drive. The other thing is I launched the rocket launcher UI and it also changed the ROM directory. You might not have to do that, but just a cut for Sega model three and for MAME, I had a slight issue with that. Again, he'll probably help you in the discord server or it might just work for you. If not, you might have to change the drive letter and you might have to change the, where, the, where the emulator is going to get the ROMs. And then here it is prompting me to update the first time I booted up and how it might look. And then the second part is if you might get some antivirus threats for some of these files, just go ahead and open your Windows protector and allow these files in. They are not viruses. So uh, when it is all extracted, it's actually only 291 gigabytes, 313 billion bytes. So um, you can absolutely download and get the uh, license. And then all of a sudden you can be using Big Box, which is way cooler in my mind and worth the money. You would just go ahead and launch Big Box. So as you see, I showed you this earlier, all this cool stuff. You can go back here and you have all your options. You can change your controls, your video snaps, the way things work, uh, what your keyboard does. All that stuff is um, you know, available to you in the options. You can go back, back, back. You go between systems. When you do click on a system, I, what I really like is that it's the real TV. It also gives you the media, the memory, all sorts of information and it scrolls the text down below there, shows you a video snap, tells you the date and the time, really cool stuff. When you go inside of the system, you then see your controls within a uh, big box and different rooms have different um, different themes. So this room, you can see it's on the, on the right, but on the arcade games, I've noticed, they put them on the left. So pretty cool, huh? You get a little mix of looks here. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Yeah, I'm paying the world. I got no shit. Yeah, that makes sense. Are you ready? Go!
And then if you want to load a game, you would just click it and press. You have a couple things. You can stop the video, play the video, stop the video, stop that. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, you can open the folder that it's located in. You can open Rocket Launcher, see what your controls are and things. Um, you can view the video full screen. You know, like, hey, you want to play this game, dude? Yeah, it looks pretty cool, man. Let's play it. Or you can view the image full screen. Can you flip the box like that? Okay, this doesn't have, if the box has two sides, you can mark it as completed, mark it as broken for your own references. You can even give it a little star rating. I rate this three and a half stars. And then you can play. So as you see, you got bezels. We're going to Asia and our Apache. You can lock on in this game. Power-ups. Oh, are we going inside the cave? Nice. This guy maneuvers pretty fast, so it's not that hard to miss. Bullets. I'm sure I'm gonna get caught out though. Especially after saying that. Oh, see? It actually does have some pretty cool exit games as well. Final thoughts is this is great. As you saw right out of the box, working really good. I like I said, I like that it was a little it wasn't like every other build I've seen where it's just like the arcade set on consoles. You actually had some obscure arcade games like Daphne, like the American Laser Disc, like the Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, Triforce, and a few others pre-installed for you. Um, it was working out of the gate, great tutorial in the install folder. Um, so I gotta give this one two thumbs up. If this is what you're looking for, like a launch box type build, it's a nice starter image, it's not too big, and uh, it's cool. So that's what I think. Let me know you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bowser, problems with your